in one of the small islands next to the Rameswara Island, in an ancient Mandapam, Aniratha Brahmadrara was enshrined. He was surrounded by the paraphernalia of his ministerial work. Accountants, Olai writers Thirumandara Nayaks, Agaparivara guards etc. were ready at their respective places. Anuradha got down from the boat and after sitting in the hall for some time, he ordered to call those who had come to see him. Five people came first. They looked like wealthy traders. They put a Navaratna garland on a plate and offered it. Aniratha Brahmariar bought it and gave it to the accountant and said, Write down that it is for the temple repair work of champion Mahadevi. Said. Then he looked at the arrivals and asked, Who are you? He asked. This long line of trading conglomerates traded with overseas countries under the Chola Empire. We have come on behalf of 1500 people from all over the world, said one of them. Happiness, is not your trade flourishing in the Pandian country. Day by day is prospering. What are the Pandians talking about? They talk that the Chola clan rule is superior to the Pandya dynasty rule. Mainly, they glorify the heroic deeds of Prince Arulmas Hivarma. Everything that happens in Sri Lanka has spread among the neighbouring people. How is your shipping trade with the low seas now? There is no shortage in Sundara Chola Emperor's rule. All our ships sent last year have returned, not a single one was damaged. Isn't the trouble with the pirates? Not last year, there was no fear of piracy in the low seas after our Chola fleet destroyed the pirates near Manakawara Island. Good, what arrangements have you made with regard to the straw we gave you? We have done as ordered. We have brought 1,000 bags of rice, 5-6 bags of corn, and 100 bags of sweet potatoes to this island of Rameswaram to send to the Sri Lanka army. We must make arrangements to send them to Sri Lanka. Can you ship it on your own ships? We do when ordered. We want to know when the Sri Lankan war will end. Ah! Who knows that? Your chamber of commerce has a soothsayer, doesn't it? Ask him and tell me. Lord Brahma! We cannot believe everything our soothsayer says. So what does he say? Prince Aromas Hivarma says that victory is everywhere he goes. He says that under his rule, the Chola fleet will go to all the countries across the sea and win. He says that the tiger flag will fly in many distant countries. Then your song is a celebration. Yes, he also said our sea trade would flourish. Great happiness will happen with the grace of Sri Ranganath. Until the war in Sri Lanka, you should send rice etc. once a month like this. Go and come. That's what we're doing, we're going. After the representatives of the Council of 500 had left, a guard came in and said, The captains are waiting and want to see you. Tell me to come. Said First Minister Anuradhar. Three noble men entered. Vira Lakshmi resided in their faces and appearance. It was obvious that Anja was a man with a strong heart. Today in Tamil Nadu, the handloom weavers who were struggling without thread were a famous warrior class during the Chola Empire. Chola emperors used to set up Akap Paravarapita with soldiers recruited from among them. The recruited army was given the name Taranjia Kaigokularpita. The name of the emperor or king is also added before the creator. Who is Sundara Chola's known armor? Asked Anurita. Yes, sir. But we are ashamed to say so. Why is that? We have been wasting our time here for six months, eating the emperor's rice. How many hands in your army? How many soldiers? Our army is three quarters. This is the leader of the right wing, this is the leader of the right wing, I am the leader of the middle wing. Two thousand soldiers in each arm. We are all eating and sleeping. We seem to forget the business of war. What is your request? We demand that we be sent to Sri Lanka. We want to join the army led by Prince Arulmas Hivarma and fight. All right, when I go to Tanjore, I will inform you after obtaining the Emperor's consent. Brahmaraja. What if the Sri Lankan war is over by then? You don't need to fear that, the Sri Lankan war doesn't look like it's over yet. Are the soldiers of Elam so evil? Send us there. 
we will see a hand. What is one hand? You will see three hands, and if the three-armed Massey of Terangia Gakala enters the field of battle, what is the enemy's song? You will attack the middle soldiers in the middle of the enemy's army. At the same time, the left-handed soldiers will fall on the enemy like a thunderbolt on the left and the left-handed soldiers on the right. We destroyed the Pandian army by attacking like that, we rooted the Cheras. The Pandyas and the Cheras opposed each other on the battlefield, so you attacked and defeated them. If you first saw the enemy with your eyes, you could see them one-armed, three-armed. Like the Azuras of Ravana, have the Sri Lankan soldiers of this era become illusions? Are they fighting hidden in the clouds? They disappeared as illusions, but they did not fight. Can they find their whereabouts only if they fight? King Mahinda of Sri Lanka is missing, and his soldiers are missing. I don't know where they have gone to hide in the forests and mountains. Therefore, there has been no war in Sri Lanka for six months. What are they doing by sending you there too? Great Minister! Send us! Let Mahinda and his soldiers hide in the forest hills, or hide in the cloud, we will take them by the hand and bring them under the prince's feet. If not, we will change the name of the Terangia Kaikalar Banda to the Servant's Slave Band. No, no. Do not vow anything like that now. Who does not know the heroic prowess of Terangia Kaikalar's army in this Jambad Vipa? When I reach Tanjavur, I will send orders to you after listening to the Emperor. Until then, be patient. Come and subdue the enemies in the Pandian country and establish peace. Great Minister! There is no longer any enemy to subdue in the Pandi country. The Kudi people are happy that the war has stopped. They are also engaged in agriculture, trade and handicrafts and lead a peaceful life. The Pandya royal clan is ruined. Don't think like that. You think the Pandya dynasty ended with Vera Pandya. You are wrong, there are still claimants to the Pandya throne. There are those plotting for them. Aha! Where is that conspirator? Tell me. You will know when the time comes. The ancient bell crown of the Pandya clan, the diamond garland given by Indra, and the diamond encrusted silk robe are still from Sri Lanka. They are hidden somewhere in the Rahana hills. The Pandyan war will not end until they are recovered. The jewels must be brought back, the day must come when Prince Arulmas Hivarmara will be installed on the throne of Madurai and will wear the Pandiamani crown and pat a knife. Aha! What word is this? We say what is in the tongues of the citizens and in the hearts of the warriors. That's all great royal stuff, let's not talk about it. I'm going to tell you something else important that might make you happy. Attention, great minister! All this has been planned by our South Direction Mathan Daniagar. In Tamil Nadu, there will be a job for all who have heroic blood and heroic heart, there will be an opportunity to perform heroic feats. So don't lose patience, you and your familiar armada. Long live the Emperor Sundara Chola in the era of the three generals. Long life Prince Arulmas Hivarmar. Long live the great minister Anuradha, they chanted. Then one of the commanders said Mahamandri. We want to make one more request. You know that the name of our force is Sundara Chola Terangia Kaikolab Force. Known thing. Those who swore an oath with the blood red hand of their enemies that they would lay down their lives in the service of Sundara Chola Emperor. I know that too. Therefore we will join no one but the Emperor, we will listen to no one else. This is what I expected from you. Once upon a time we were part of a great army of reapers. Let none of us be in any doubt as to why. Aha! What word is this? Who doubts what? There are rumors of something going on in Tanjavur. Comes with the wind and goes with the wind. Don't you believe it all, don't tell it back. Some of the Kajumbala recruits might raise suspicions about us. They won't knock, nobody will listen even if they knock. Human injury is immortal. So pure warriors do not fear life. Though Tribhuvana Emperor one day. God has to reach the unturned. Emperor is not well. A comet shines in the sky. If something like that happens to the Emperor, 
our soldiers want Aromas Hivarmar's inner retinue. It is your duty to follow the Emperor's will. It is your duty to inform us of the Emperor's deeds. Accept the responsibility yourselves. Or give us permission to go to Tanjore and visit the Emperor. No, it is not advisable for you to go to Tanjore, there will be confusion in vain. I will take it upon myself to see the Emperor and make known your wishes. Be at ease. Letting them know has lifted our burdens. Let's go. The three captains of the Terangia handball force went away from there. Aniruthap Brahmariar said, Aha! I don't know what kind of attraction power Panas Selvar has. Even those who see him once become mad. He muttered under his breath. Then, in a loud voice, Where? Tell that rogue Vaishnava to come here. He ordered that.